introduction. So I am Vic Anthony Joseph. Um, as stated earlier, I was in the corporate world for a couple of years, five years. And it was until uh, five years ago that I decided that I need to do something to, be, to have a contribution to our environment, uh, to the society, and to, to everyone, uh, to everyone that, uh, that is important to, to all of us. So that's why I joined the IFOAM Asia. Uh, we are leading the organic movement in Asia. And in the next uh, 20 minutes or so, I am going to tell you all the different things, the small things that we are doing in order to propagate uh, organic agriculture in Asia. Okay, so IFOM Asia, we are the regional body of the IFOM Organics International. Many of you might have heard of, of uh, IFOM Organics International since it is the worldwide uh, umbrella organization for the organic agriculture movement. And we have more than 800 affiliates in more than 100 countries and areas all over the world. The head office is based in Bonn, Germany and it was founded in 1972. So the vision and mission of IFOM Organics International is si similar to different uh, to, uh, other organizations which share the same objectives and vision and mission, which is to foster broad adoption of truly sustainable agriculture, value chains and consumption in line with the principles of organic agriculture. And then we lead change organically. So this is the IFOM Organics International website. Uh, you can go ahead and search it. And in there, you will find uh, a handful of articles, publications, and other information relating to the organic movement. So this is the IFOM Action Group. Uh, I will be talking about IFOM Asia. So we are part of the regional bodies. So as you can see here, we have several regional bodies across the globe. We have the IFOM uh, Europe group. We have the Southern Af Africa Network, the IFOM America, uh, IFOM AgriBio Mediterranean, Latin America. And now I'm going to discuss about IFOM Asia, which is one of the regional bodies. Okay, so I will quickly and briefly tackle about the, uh, some of the awards uh, that were, uh, that we have been, uh, we have been, giving to our to other exceptional individuals or organizations for the past few years. Uh, the One World Award is a very popular uh, award and then it honors vision and activi uh, activities of, uh, of persons and organizations. And then in 2012, uh, we have one of our most active members, Dumingad uh, in the Philippines won the 2012 one World Award, and in 2014, Timbuktu from India and Han Salim from South Korea won the award. And these groups, we have been working with them uh, uh, for several, several years. And we exchange information, discuss be best practices among these groups. Then we have the Organic Farming Innovation Award. Again, it, uh, um, its goal is to give recognition to those who have solved problems and the areas of uh, to increase effectiveness, efficiency, and productivity in organic farming. And the picture that you are seeing here is uh, the one receiving the award is a former vice president of IFOM Asia, Dr. Tanvir Hossein. He was the first recipient of the OPIA Award last 2011. Then we have the Organic Medal of Honor, and then this is in collaboration with Sichong County in China. And then one of the winners, uh, our first ever uh, organic medal of honor uh, was actually is in Kerala uh, in India. And then we have another group from South Korea. We have so many active groups coming from India and uh, they, they, we really learn a lot from them. And then their best practices, we disseminate it to all our networks and into our events. So a very brief history, in 2011, we got a call from the head office in Germany of the possibility of having a regional body here in Asia. This was after South Korea hosted the 17th IFOAM Organic World Congress. And then after that, there were some discussions, there were meetings 
in and uh, uh, in Asia, where we invited several delegates, which represent various uh, sectors, uh, various stakeholders. And in 2012, there was a consensus that IFOM Asia will indeed be formed here in the region. Then we had a preparatory meeting last 2012, and then it was decided that IFOM Asia will be based in Gyesan, uh, in Seoul, South Korea. And finally, later that year, IFOM Organics International approved the formation of IFOM Asia, where we also had our first general assembly. So for our status, we have more than 200 members of IFOM Asia in 18 countries and areas in Asia and Central Asia. We first started with 88 members in 2013, and we have grown steadily for the past few years. And we have seen an, uh, as an increase in membership for the past two and three years. Our head office now is based in Gyesan County, South Korea, and we have uh, three branch offices. One is in Nanjing, China. Uh, another one is in Shanghai. And the most recent one we have is our office here in the Philippines. And then these are the objectives of IFOM Asia. We believe in the, uh, we promote organic or life agriculture as a tool to end poverty uh, and to attain basic food sovereignty, security, and safety for all, which you, you have been discussing uh, for the past few days. The, main, the major projects that we have for IFOM Asia, uh, we have the Organic Asia Congress, the Asia Organic Youth Forum, and finally, Algoa. We have other projects as well, and I will mention them later. So the Organic Asia Congress is, is one of the largest organic events uh, in Asia. Uh, we gather researchers and uh, um, organic practitioners and stakeholders and then give them the updates on organic agriculture, the latest developments. And this uh, has generated a lot of attention and attraction throughout the years. The last one that we had was in 2018. Uh, in September of 2018. Uh, something's wrong with my video, but just bear, bear with it. So we had this one in the Philippines where more than 2,000 people joined uh, the event. And uh, we had different activities as well during the Organic Asia Congress. We had the IFOM Asia Organic Youth Forum. We also had the Organic Rice Conference. We trained uh, organic uh, we, we train organic students then, uh, um, and a host of other activities. Now, we believe and we recognize the utmost importance of the youth to further the organic movement. And that's why we train youth, equip them with the right knowledge, and then we want, or we, uh, we want to bring them back to the farm because one of the major problems that we have in agriculture is that many of these youth no longer go back to the farm and uh, are, uh, are going to the city as their main uh, destination. So it's one of, our, uh, one of our aims is to really get them back uh, to the farms and do organic farming. And then to inspire the next generation of organic leaders. We had uh, this picture, we have the Organic Youth Forum. Uh, this one was in, in sh sh Shanghai. Uh, excuse me for a bit, uh, something is. Okay, okay. Um, give me if something's wrong with my computer. Okay, youth forum uh, in the Philippines. And then the, the, the youth that we trained, they, they went all around in, in the island and uh, had some trips in organic farms and met with other organic practitioners in the country. 
We had another organic youth forum, the fourth one in uh, in New Taipei City in Taiwan. And then finally, for our last organic youth forum, we had one in Nagaland, uh, in Dimapur, Nagaland, India, in uh, late 2019. So it was also during this event that we started to accept non-Asian delegates. And as I will uh, be shortly discussing later, the that iForm Asia has uh, already gone global. And this was one of the first activities that we really started uh, accepting non-Asian delegates because they were the, uh, they were curious about what we are doing here in our region. And then because of the IFOM Asia Organic Youth Forum, uh, another group in, in Europe uh, called Young Organics, they kept in touch with us. And then together, both groups formed the Young Organics Global Network. It is a youth group uh, with a similar vision and mission of uh, for the Young Organics and the Organic Youth Forum. And basically we will be training uh, the youth and uh, bring them back to the farms, uh, train them to become the next organic leaders in their respective countries. Then in IFOM Asia, we have the Sichong Innovation Committee. And this is a group composed of nine organic innovation experts from all over the region. And we are glad and honored to, to say that Dr. Jay Thomas is one of these uh, nine experts, and they recently published a book entitled Innovative Cases of Organic Agriculture in Asia. And this book contains best organic practices and cases in the fields of production, marketing, certification, digital technology, policy, and community development. And last year, the Sichong Innovation Committee was expanded to become the Asian Organic Innovation Technology Platform which will include more researchers and experts. So this is the book that they just made. Uh, you can contact me after, uh, after this one. I will be giving out my email. Or alternatively, you can visit our website, uh, www.asia.ifoam.bio, so that you can get yourself a copy of this really wonderful book. Then we have Algoa. This is one of IFOM Asia's major, uh, major projects. And Algoa, or the Asian Local Government for Organic uh, Agriculture, uh, it is the daughter organization of IFOM Asia, and it is legally registered in South Korea. So we are under the school sponsorship of Gesan County, and this was officially launched uh, five years ago. And Gesan County since then has been the holder of presidency for Algoa. Now the primary purpose of Algoa is to facilitate full adoption of organic agriculture and practices in Asia. Currently we have 254 members in 15 countries and, Asia, uh, and areas in Asia and a country-based national Algoa branches is still under discussion. So these are the different activities of Algoa. We, we exchange information. We work hand in hand with the, the government. Uh, and later, uh, later I will give the I, I will give the rationale behind connecting with the local government units as one of the tools of propagating organic agriculture in the region. Algoa hosts the annual Algoa Summit, and I uh, I think a couple of you have been to our. Uh, Algoa Summit, which is yearly. It was first held in 2015, and the Minister of Bhutan was one of the, those who graced the event. And together here is Andre Lloyd, the president of IFOM Organics International. The first Algoa Summit, then the second, then the third. So as you can see, we, uh, the number of people is increasing every year. And then this one is the fourth. And then the fifth Algoa Summit plus four. The plus four signifies the, uh, the, uh, the additional continents that are included in the program. And this is, uh, the, the full name for this one is the Algoa plus four International Summit on Organic Agriculture Policies. And this is very historic since this is the first time that the Algoa uh, has accepted delegates from all over the world. So we have speakers 
and attendees coming from the UN, from IFOM Organics International, from the Organic Food Systems Program of the United Nations, and a whole lot more. Then we have the Global Alliance for Organic Districts. Out from this Algoa Summit, the leaders from the, from the European countries and European organizations had a talk with our, with, uh, with our team. And then together, we have decided in forming the Global Alliance for Organic Districts. So the same things that we are doing here in Asia, there is also a group uh, called the INNER, and they do the same thing in, in Europe, and then both had a memorandum of uh, understanding uh, earlier last year, and then eventually formed the Global Alliance for Organic Districts. And this is the uh, Algoa Summit last year. It was virtual, uh, and uh, it was it was graced by more than two thousand people from all over the world in the uh, for the entire week. And with the Global Alliance for Organic Districts, uh, the GAOD, uh, together with Algoa, we developed uh, several books. And we have here the Global uh, the GAOD book series. It contains the best practices uh, of organic agriculture in both Asia and in Europe. So these are also available in our website. Uh, I, will, I, I will give the link also to the organizers so that if some of you will ask for the links uh, and for these books, uh, they will be able to give you one. We have the Organic uh, Algoa Organic Foundation course. Uh, we train uh, we train the future leaders in 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 the organic movement, and this has been going on since 2016. And since then, we have trained for uh, more than 200 uh, trainees for this course. So these are the different pictures. Uh, the 2016 Organic Foundation course was also significant because we had four mayors from the Philippines who attended the week-long uh, training. This is the, the one to the left is Mayor Librado, Nav uh, uh, Mayor Librado Navarro. And uh, after... After two years, he was the one who hosted the Organic Asia Congress in the Philippines, as I have shown earlier. Then the Organic Foundation course, the different trainees that we have. And then we also had the virtual training last year. Okay, so IFOM, we believe that uh, by working with the government, particularly with the local government units, is one of the fastest ways of really propagating and mainstreaming organic agriculture in the region. And that's one of the main reasons why we created Algoa. And since then we have partners with, we have partnered with local governments from all over the region. And the regular Algoa events that I have mentioned earlier have become venues for information and policies exchange and best practices. Now we have partnered with uh, uh, Loam CPPH, and this is really one of the most interesting uh, organization partners that we have, that have really, uh, really generated a lot of interest, uh, not only from Asia but uh, from from the rest of the world as well. So I will quickly discuss uh, the Loam CPPH. It is one of IPOM Asia's and Algoa's largest members. It is composed of more than 200 members in the Philippines. And the membership is exclusive because for you to become a member, you have to be leading a community. You have to be a local chief executive or locally known as the mayors. Now these mayors, so there are more than 200 members. So there are more than 200 mayors who are members of this organization. And then these mayors are very strong uh, strong proponents of organic agriculture. So they implement policies and laws and, and implement it in their respective districts. Now Dumingab, the one that I the one that won the Organic World Award, it's very significant because it's one of the pioneering members of Long CPPH. And in mid in mid 2000s in 2005, the poverty rate for Dumingab 
was more than 95%. It was around 93 to 97%. Now imagine a, a community of 30,000 with more than 90% uh, above the poverty line. That is very significant. But through organic agriculture, the mayor together with the, uh, with the other stakeholders of organic agriculture, they were able to implement policies uh, uh, which at the center of it is organic agriculture. And after 10 years, uh, seven to 10 years, from more than 90% poverty incidence rate, it has now become in the 20s, low 20s. So imagine from 90% to 20% poverty incidence. So what LOMSI and IPOM Asia and Goa is doing is we are sharing what they have done in Domingan and how they were able to drastically reduce poverty and which we give to, to everyone who is interested and let them show what Domingag really has done. And it is uh, being followed by the rest of the Lone CP members as well. Now, I have mentioned that we want to spread the movement to as many people as possible. Now, out of the 200 members, an estimate each of these mayors have in them 25, uh, an average of 25,000 citizens. So if you multiply that one by 200, so long, uh, we now work directly or indirectly with 5 million citizens in the country through, uh, through loan CP and through the different policies that they, that they implement in their respective districts. And to make sure that everyone has to be on the same boat, uh, the, before you become a member, you have to prove that you have an organic program which has already been implemented uh, within three months from application. And once the organic policies and programs have been implemented, then that's the first step on becoming a Long CP member. So, I form Asia, we really work hand in hand with Long CP because we believe that the that what the, the policies and the, the policies that Long CP has been implementing in the respective districts is a is one of the best practices that we can share to the rest of the organic movement. Then we also do some lobbying. Uh, two years ago here in the Philippines, I form Asia, we were invited by the uh, Senator Villar, uh, who is in charge of the Agriculture Committee in the Philippines, uh, to do some consultation on how we, can, how we can improve the organic policies in the country. And to, to much delight, just last month in January 2021, uh, the, uh, the, the organic policy was strengthened. And after years of lobbying from, uh, from the organic community, from IFOM Asia, from Lone CP, from Algoa, our country finally recognizes, uh, uh, finally recognizes participatory guarantee system uh, for recognizing organic uh, uh, organic in the country, which is, which is a historic uh, development in the Philippines. Since prior to this one, it was only through third-party accreditation that you will get an organic status. But now with the participatory guarantee system, which, uh, which is uh, now the smallholder farmers can now be labeled as organic. Uh, and this is done through the various lobbying that we have done through the years. And Sir, will you, be, will you be able to finish with another two, three minutes? Yes, I, yes, I'm going towards yeah. the, the end of the slides. Okay, okay, so, thank, you. thank you. Yes, and we are, uh, with the inclusion of PGS, expect that we will be dealing a lot with, with India since the PGS system in India is very established. And it's one of the, the systems that is really being followed from, from the rest of the world. And these are the different uh, IFOM Asia events. We have the International Conference on Full Meals. Again, we have the Algoa Summit, and then the Organic Youth Summit, and then the Organic Asia Congress in Indonesia. So these are all in our website. So you can just visit our website uh, or give me an email. Uh, I will be giving my email la later. Okay, 
So as a summary, so we are leading the organic movement in Asia by gathering organic stakeholders in some of the largest organic events in the world, not only in Asia, but in the world. We train the future leaders in the organic movement through our organic foundation course. We create platforms that represent various sectors in the society. And these are usually the underrepresented sectors of society. That's why we created the Organic Youth Forum. And now, in the next few months, we will be creating the Women in Organic Agriculture in Asia, which has also generated a lot of interest from the community. Then we have the Asian Technology Innovation Platform, the scaled up uh, platform for the Sichong Innovation Committee. And then we have partners with other like-minded organizations which share the same beliefs and objectives with IFOM Asia. We have the Long CP, the GAOD, and maybe some of the organizations that you are, uh, all of you are currently in. So IFOM Asia believes that by doing these small things, small as of now, but meaningful things in the movement, in our region, we make the world a better, a better and much more important, a safer place for everyone. And that's how we are doing, uh, we are leading the organic movement in Asia. So once again, I would like to thank the organizers of this event for allowing us to let everyone know of the different things that we are doing uh, to really further the organic movement uh, in, in Asia, especially uh, uh, in, in countries like Philippines, uh, India, where the organic movement is really uh, increasing by the day. So these are, my, uh, these are our details. You can give me a direct email if you want more information about the things that we are doing. Or alternatively, you can visit our website, asia.ifoam.bio, or you can ask uh, our good old, uh, our good, very good friend, uh, organic expert, Dr. Jay Thomas. 